trip behind the scenes with future country rock blues kings and queens discover them first with palm mash tv palm mash tv TV time again. Thank you so much for joining us. We got a great interview coming up shortly. But before we begin, don't forget about that subscribe button, the bell below you there. And anytime a new episode comes your way, you'll be notified. And leave a comment on the comment section if you like this interview, and we'd love to hear from you. And if you look at the uh, the description, it'll have uh, contact info, and we'll have contact info again for you at the closing credits at the end of this episode. So stay tuned for that. In a moment, we're going to have uh, Mel Sher from the Red Crown Tours, a very awesome artist. I think you're going to agree. And uh, we're going to get to that in just a second. But, uh, but before we get into that, let's have a quick word from the Caden Gordon Show and TLC Travel Agency. So don't go away. We'll be right back right after this. The Caden Gordon Show, today's best country mix, is a two-hour show playing independent and mainstream country music you know and love. Be sure to check it out at thecadengordonshow.com for more information on the show. Ever thought about owning your own business? Tanya Lapsley Cockett did. She decided a little over five years ago that she was going to be an entrepreneur, so she started her travel business. Tanya is married and works a full-time job. Her business has given her amazing opportunities. Not only does she get to help people create memories by booking their vacations, sporting and entertainment tickets, rental cars, etc., but it has also allowed her to help other families create legacy income. The travel industry is extremely lucrative and is an $8 trillion industry. The travel industry is projected to earn in excess of $15 trillion over the next 10 years. The travel industry pays its professionals up to 70 to 80% commission on the travel that they book for themselves and their clients. As a travel business owner, Tanya books travel and teaches others how to own and operate their own travel business. She is a director in training on the marketing side of her business where she has helped over 90 families start their own businesses. If you're interested in owning your own travel business, please contact Tanya at 917-743-1199 or at ladytlc3555 at me.com. Okay, we're back, and with us from San Diego, California, we have uh, Mel Sher from the Red Crown Tourist, and uh, well, thank you for join, uh, jo joining us on the show there, Mel. Oh, it's not good to be here. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. We're glad to have you. Um, so uh, why don't you tell us a story about how it all began for you as far as um, being an artist goes? I mean, maybe you've uh, always wanted to be an artist. Maybe it came much later, um, you know, so forth. Uh, tell us in your own words, though. So uh, music started, of course, when I was five years old. I had I have three older brothers, so they they were about five years older than me, and so they were always bringing the the music home. Back then, it was the Rolling Stones and um, the Beatles were big. So I started hearing that kind of music when I was young. My mom played the organ, and she would always play like girl from Empanema or mm -hmm. so I was always listening to music and then um started playing the guitar around 12 13 14 something like that we moved to Oklahoma from San Diego where I live and I started learning how to play the guitar and then years later we moved back to San Diego and um I was raising a family and had had to get a hobby to get away from the little ones a little bit and started writing uh, music with a, a band I was with called Street Called Straight. And then I've been through a series of bands, like 30, and um, I just started more and more writing songs and enjoyed it, learned all the music theory I needed to understand what I was doing from that aspect. And um, that's what I do now. So I play in cover band right now. I'm playing in a cover band here in San Diego, country cover band. So my influences of late have been 
pretty kind of Nashville type country songs and a little bit traditional, but I tend to kind of write in that genre right now. Um, I've put out two albums, uh, working on a third one this year. Hopefully I'll have a 12 song uh, album out at the end of this year. I've got nine songs so far. So just a few more and I, I'll be, I'll hit my goal. And it's kind of country. First album I put out very eclectic. I was all over the place. Second one is a little bit more country. And this one is probably going to stay in that same vein. So okay. that's kind of how it started. And I, I use Red Crown Tourist as a writing vehicle. Um, and it keeps me sane because being in a band can drive you nuts sometimes. And so in Red Crown, I call all the shots. I don't have to. You know, it goes goes the way I want it to, and uh, that kind of balances everything out for me. And I'm I'm happy musically right now. So, hmm. okay, well, that's quite a story you got there. Um, hope hopefully we have a lot more years left in you. Yeah, um, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Well, I noticed you mentioned the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. I guess they were big influences on you. Did you have any others besides them? Or? Yeah, I I. I'm kind of all over the board. Um, it's Stephen Stills, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Um, uh, Rolling Stones, of course, were always around. My brothers always listened to that. Um, uh, Mott the Hoople was a big influence when I was younger. Uh, Leonard Skinner was a huge influence. Um, I was probably the only kid at 12 years old that knew what Freebird was. And that's because my brother would always bring albums home and I'd sneak into the room and play his records when he wasn't there. And then um, Tears for Fears, mm -hmm. my college favorite band was Frank Zappa. So I listened to everything I could find with him. Um, so, and then I, as far as songwriter type guys, John Hyatt, Lucinda Williams, I love the way they write songs. They don't really write commercially, they just write songs. They put stories, songs, and that's kind of where I am too. I like to just think of a story, develop it lyrically, write the chord structure around it, get in the studio, get it, get the layering laid down, and spit it out, and then move on. So, hmm. yeah, that's quite a you know a list there because you know even Leonard Skinner, as I mentioned, they were great. Tears for Fears, and you know, and all those uh, you know they were great bands, and um, I loved a lot of those. Um, have an interesting note as far as the Leonard Skinner goes. In 2015, I was in a Skinner tribute band out here in San Diego for about five years, and we uh, brought on a guitar player that was friends with Artemis Pyle, the drummer from Leonard Skinner. He was the guy that ran to get help with the plane ride. He came out, sat in with three shows with us. So I primarily play bass in band. So I've always found that amazing that here I was a fan at 12 years old, looking at all the record albums and reading all the words. And all of a sudden, as a, I think I was 55 at the time, here I am playing with a childhood hero. It was, it all, it kind of goes beyond words. I was, I'd always look over and go, how'd I get here? How'd this happen? <laughs> you know, but really great guy, phenomenal drummer, uh, super, super, uh, full of stories just sitting at his feet listening it's like and these are stories that you've never heard in a book or interview or anything and he'd just start talking he's a talker like me so you just shut up and let him talk but um that's kind of my crowning point as a musician is i got to play with that guy so that was super cool hmm. well that's good yeah i mean uh, i think it's a dream for everybody to meet their uh, artists like that and 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 then when you do you don't know sometimes you don't know what to do with yourself you know <laughs> well there's there's good, bad, and ugly with that because, you know, you you build up this sort of image of who they are in your mind and then the real human being shows up and you find out they they have flaws like you and good things and it's it's a big adjustment, you know, and, mm -hmm. but he's a great guy. I still text him from time to time and he'll, he'll send me a picture back or something. So I, I feel good about that, you know, that this guy out there that's known by everybody, little old Mel out in San Diego, he gets a little attention now and then, so yeah. kind of cool well that's pretty cool um now i'm sure you can find your uh songs on all streaming platforms uh, but also do you have a social media side do you have an official side i mean tell everybody where to go for that so my official website is www.rctstar.com 
rcttourist.com. So it's Red Crown Tourist, just the initials RCT Fine. and then the word star. So RCT star. That's where I put all, that's where I upload all my music. See, my first and second album are there. The third one will be there. And then I'm on iTunes as well. So if somebody out there hears something they like they and they want to purchase it, I would suggest going to iTunes because the compression is the best. They, they sound the best to me through headphones and stuff. So, and it's cheaper there. So. Okay. Were you on any oh, social oh, media? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. I got the yapping. Um, it's <laughs> red crowd tourist Facebook. And then I also have an Instagram that's red crown tourist as well. Okay. Well, um, check them out on all those streaming platforms and social media sites and be sure to check them out on that official website. And, and I know he would just love you for that. And uh, right now we're getting ready to play this music video. Uh, tell me the title of the song and what it's about. And if there's a story behind it, we'd love to hear it. So this song's called The Renegade. I wrote it for a club out here called The Renegade. It's probably one of the last roadhouses left um, in Southern California. There's quite a few of them, but at least in San Diego, it, it's, it's a phenomenal place. So I think the song does a good job describing it. The song actually has been nominated for the San Diego Music Awards this year as Best Country Americana Song. So hopefully April 30th I'll win, but just being nominated is super cool too. So whatever whatever comes, what what do they say? Comes what may, may whatever the phrase is. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I'm, I'm just glad to be there. So Yeah, well, I, I hope you win there, Mel. Um, and... Uh, we're going to check that out, Renegades, uh, in just a second. But, Mel, we want to thank you so much. We've had a blast having you out today. We'd love to have you back again if you got anything new to plug for us. So maybe we'll have you back sometime. Okay, that sounds good. I would love to come back. Thank you. Okay. And here it is, Renegades by Mel Sheriff from the Red Crown Taurus. And it starts right now. There's an old roadhouse, old highway in it Looking for a good time, they're always ready You'll always find a friend who is willing and ready to dance All night, the bands are hot, they keep the dance floor swinging Girl behind the bar, know exactly what you're drinking Two-step, ten-step, country swinging All night long You'll find me there on a Saturday night Two white horses and a pretty little lady She's always glad to see you walk through a roadhouse door Down at the Renegade Yeah, down at the Renegade Barbed wires ripping, trappers on the bar Old southbound Johnny's that plays old guitar Old Whiskey Ridge and the Hunky Dog King in the house all night long You'll find me there on a Saturday night The dance floor's hopping, everything's alright Everybody's partying like it's 1999 Two white horses and a pretty little lady She's always glad to see you walk through a roadhouse door Yeah, down at the Renegade yeah, down at the Renegade Crowd floods in, all excited Handshakes, hugs, great big smiles One big old happy family Lisa's calling out the dancing count Old Chuck's there working it out Cameras flashing everywhere Yeah, down at the Renegade 